I'm Clara and welcome to The Cutting Edge. We just had our Super Science Saturday. Anna and Stormy take us along. Super Science Saturday started off with the freshmen learning about progressive magnification. Did you have fun at Super yeah. Saturday? Yep. Right on. Look, we got these flowers. Hi. Afterwards, they headed to Totem Park and browsed around at the museum. They also had a blast making paper airplanes. Whoosh. The sophomores had an opportunity to participate with the UAS Fish Tech program with Miss Mall. Then they took a bus to the Raptor Center and were able to take a look at all the different birds. Later, all the sophomores were educated about STIs and diseases. <laughs> Juniors had the pleasure of making the sweetest ice cream. Yum! Then the junior did a plastic analysis lab with Mr. Gwynn and Ms. Livermore. <laughs> Finally, the juniors had a blast doing an egg drop project with Mr. Davis. <laughs> They head up to the tower. Here is Mr. Davis heaving our engineering projects into the atmosphere. I'm Anna and I'm here at the Activity Center on Super Science Saturday. Hi, I'm Caden Gibbons from McGrath. Caden, what was your favorite thing that you learned today? Well, Anna, I learned about how there's a bunch of trash in the ocean and how it's affecting the environment and killing off birds and the long-term effect it will have on us as humans. And I just thought that was very interesting. My name is Terrence Johnson and I am from New Haven. What was your favorite activity that you did today, Terrence? The egg drop because this was made. <laughs> I'm Sonora from Yakutat. I'm Amy and I'm from Nome. My favorite part about Saturday school was being able to hang out with my classmates. My favorite part was being able to make ice cream with Mr. Mahoney. Unfortunately, the seniors weren't able to go on their boat ride due to bad weather. So instead, they went to the movie theater and enjoyed watching The Death Cure. Wow, that was super and scientific. Next up, Ali, Marty, and Reyna take us courtside. Let's go check it out.
On Saturday, January 27th, our MEHS Varsity Braves went up against the Thunder Mountain Falcons. Senior Ben Exe makes an impressive free throw. Our varsity boys played their hardest, but unfortunately, the TMHS team took the win. On January 28, our varsity boys went up against the Anchorage Grace Christian Grizzlies. Bear Drew the Fowler makes his free throws. Throughout the whole game, the boys played with great sportsmanship, but Grace Christian came out on top with the win. On Tuesday evening, January 2nd, our MEHS Lady Raves battled the Lady Wolves at the Sitka High School Gym. As the varsity girls prepared for tip-off, the cheer team took to the sky and got the crowd on their feet. As the action began, the whole team was focused and our school spirit was on display. Here's Coach Forrester rallying the troops. Go Taya! Go, Go Tessa! Tessa. Danielle Go catches the pass on the high post and makes the shot. Shout out to Stormy. There was tons of teamwork on and off the court. Our Lady Braves put up a good fight, but in the end, it's the one. Good luck to the boys and girls teams that headed to Homer this weekend. During Super Science Saturday, Jonathan Christ Tompkins talked to the juniors and seniors about an awesome academic opportunity this summer. My name is Jonathan Christ Tompkins. I grew up here in Sitka. I went to school across the bridge at Sitka High School. 
apologies. Uh, and I went to college and came back and I now serve in the legislature, the Alaska House of Representatives, representing Sitka and 20 other small island communities in Southeast Alaska, including a lot of communities that you and the Mount Anishkum student body comes from. And outside the legislature, I work on a few other projects and, and jobs, if you will, and one of them is an educational program and project called Outer Coast, um, which is launching this summer, a summer program for high school students from around Alaska, and ultimately a small college on the former Sheldon Jackson College campus uh, in 2020 or 2021. The Outer Coast Summer Seminar is going to be a four and a half week summer seminar for high school juniors and seniors who are looking to go to college. And it's a stepping stone to those interested in college and those looking to have a taste of a college level academic experience. It's going to be four and a half weeks in Sitka this July and August for 12 to 16 primarily Alaskan high school students, although there'll be a few from the lower 48 as well, and applications are gonna open in the next few weeks. Recently, Stormy and I produced a video for the Cornerstone General Contractors. While we were there, we snuck in a little pool update. We're at the new Manichkum Aquatic Center. Let's take a look around. We know you guys have been dying to see the pool. So we're going to give you an exclusive look now. We're here on the diving board now. Soon you'll be here too. Let's dive in. From where we're standing, it's a beautiful scene inside and out. <laughs> It may be cold outside with all the snow on the mountain, but in here we're ready to swim. What has been taking almost two years long is almost done. And soon this construction site will be a dream. A lot of stuff is happening at MEHS. Valentine's Day dances this weekend, Founders is next week. And remember, Stay tuned for the cutting edge!